In this video, I'm going to write a C program that's going to perform user input validation with a do while loop. So oftentimes with our C programs, we're going to want to accept input from the user. But when we do, we're going to want to validate that that input is OK. We don't want to start using input in our program that doesn't make any sense. So for example, we could write a program that asks the user for a day of the month. And we'll make a variable here called day that's an integer, and we'll set it equal to 0. But a day of the month is only going to be valid if it's between 1 and 31. There is no month with 32 days, and a day of negative 1 wouldn't make any sense at all. So we're going to ask the user for a day of the month between 1 and 31, and we're going to validate the input is OK. So we'll say here printf, enter day of the month, and we'll give a suggested range here between 1 and 31. And then we'll say scanf, and we'll store the integer they enter into the day variable. And then what we're going to do is we're going to check to see, is that day of the month between 1 and 31? If it's not, the first thing we're going to do is let the user know that they entered an incorrect value. So we'll say here, if the day is less than 1 or the day is greater than 31, it's out of range. So we're going to say here, printf, error day must be between 1 to 31. And we'll basically tell the user here that they've entered incorrect input. Now, what we really want to do, though, is ask the user again now to enter the day of the month. So this is where a do while loop is perfect, because a do while loop will run its loop body once no matter what. But it will run it multiple times, so long as a condition is true. So what we can do is put this in the body of our do while loop, because we know for sure at least once we're going to want to ask the user to enter the day of the month. But we're going to want to do it again and again if that day of the month is out of range. So we'll say here do. And then we'll shift this code over because we're going to put it inside the loop body here. And then we'll say, well, so, so long as the day is less than one or the day is greater than 31, we want to repeat this loop body. We want to keep going and keep asking the user again and again to enter the day of the month until they've entered a day of the month that is valid. So once they've actually entered the valid day of the month, we'll say printf day of the month, and we'll just output that. And we'll just say day here. So let's give this a shot here. We'll run this here. And it'll pop up with enter day of the month. If I say like negative one, it says error. Day must be between one and 31. And it asks again. If I say 32, error. Day must be between one and 31. It asks again. If I say five, we get day of the month is five. And we're good now. And so what we've got here is a perfect use case for a do while loop because we have a situation where we want to do something once and then possibly repeatedly if this condition is true. And so user input validation is a great situation to use a do while loop. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.